Hello friends and welcome to Friday Night Files and our first look of Saloon Simulator. This is a playtest. All of a sudden it was just in my library. I can't remember I have applied for a playtest. Well let's check it out and see what it's all about. Let's go through the options first. Let's see if we can ultra, yes please. Got a pretty beefy computer, so everything on ultra, please. Hopefully, the game is uh, optimized <laughs> to play it like this. Well, we'll we'll find out. If not, we'll just scale it down. New game. Uh, hello? It's the black screen of death. What's going on here, man? Okay. <laughs> Just this place is not what I imagined. Starting a business here is going to be a challenge. Looks okay, but it's very choppy right now. Let's hope that doesn't continue. Where's the old saloon? Oh, maybe right there. Can we sprint? We can. Blueberry saloon. Time to use some muscle and make my way inside. Rip out the boards blocking the entrance. Press repeatedly, alright. Now what do we do with all these boards? <laughs> oh, look at this place. Howdy howdy. Using trash bin. The bucket is now in your possession. Check it in your radio menu. Hold tab. When you have the trash bucket in your possession, you can collect garbage found in the saloon and out of the premises. Press left mouse button. You can make a trash bag whenever you want. Just press right mouse button. Damn, what a flea pit. I was expecting the saloon to be abandoned, not devastated. <laughs> Completely dilapidated. Where's my bucket? He told me the bucket was in my possession, yeah? The radio menu. Didn't he say that? Uh, find the bucket. Ah, okay. I thought he already said I had it in my possession. All right. Guess Let's I start with the trash. Pick up the trash. This is not trash. It's my new hat. What's a cowboy without a hat? I guess I'm not a cowboy. I'm a barkeep, you know, saloon keep. Look at this place, man. Hopefully the music is not copyright. I don't believe it is. I think they made the, the music specifically for this game. So we're... Ah. So we're probably good. place to dispose of this right away. Take a bin back to the dump site. Okay, guess it's the side of the saloon. There must be a dump around here somewhere. Do I have to walk all the way over here? To throw bags away? Throw a bin back into the dump site. 
The presence of garbage in the saloon discourages guests negatively, affecting their reactions, the number of visitors and your tips. You can collect single pieces of garbage or whole bags of them and take them to the garbage dump for disposal. Garbage is an important currency in Blueberry. You will learn about it later. Okay, we can earn money from the garbage. Throw it. Done. Does anyone even visit this town? It looks pretty deserted. <laughs> Read the note left at the dump site. Howdy, Blueberry folks. I'm heading out for a while. Feels like my search for Dulcinea might take a little longer this time. Don't expect me back anytime soon. More like early April, with my usual stash of extraordinary finds. In the meantime, pile up the trash as high as you like. I'll take care of it when I get back. Until then, I hope all is well in your peculiar little town. Catch you in April. Charlie. The first of April is tomorrow. Might be worth a look. Assuming, of course, that Charlie has left this note this year. <laughs> yeah. Pick up the broom. Select the broom from the radio menu. Hold tab. When you have the broom in your hands, you can clean floor, dust, and cobwebs. Just press left mouse button. Cobwebs, floor, dust, and other signs of clutter will diminish the cleanliness of your premises and deter customers. Occasionally, you may uncover small valuables, misplaced by saloon guests, beneath layers of dust. Let's pick up the broom. Where is the broom? Do we have a marker? Is it inside? Can't seem to find a marker for the broom. Where's my broom, dude? Locked. If I can't find the key, I'll have to force it open. Yeah, kick it down. Kick it down. This looks like a place where a broom could be. Right? Maybe not. Outside then? Can't seem to find my broom. Why is it not marked? <laughs> the bucket was marked. So difficult to see as well in all this clutter, you know. Where the heck's my broom? Do we have a map? Can we see it on a map or something? No, we don't have it in our in our possessions. So. Where the heck's my broom? Is it even around the saloon? Am I just blind? Can we jump? We can jump. A broken ass chair. What the F, man? Surely it must be inside, yeah? 
What's this behind you? The upstairs? And the brothel area? This is pretty daunting. Where the hell's my broom? Pick up the broom. I want to. <laughs> well, where is it? How the F am I supposed to find it? Come on now. Can't be found in all this mess. Was it back at the at the dump site, maybe? It's right here, man, I think. Okay then, let's steal the broom. This will come <laughs> in handy. Charlie won't be happy. When he finds out his broom is gone. Let's see if there's any floor under this dirt. Clean it. Let's clean this dirty old place. Okay, we have all the dirt marked as well. Arranging furniture in the saloon. Furnishing like chairs and tables can be picked up. Press left mouse button. You can place them anywhere you like. Press left mouse button. Ensure order by positioning chairs next to the tables. Providing your guests with a spot to enjoy their meals. For now, this is as good as it gets. It's time to set up the chairs and tables. Yeah. Okay, it snaps to the tables. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. These cowboys need a place to play poker. You know? And have their whiskey. It's beginning to look like a saloon. Yeah, guests of the Blueberry Saloon. Blueberry is not as abandoned as it seems. Engage in conversations with guests and townsfolk by press left mouse button. It's an opportunity to get to know Blueberry locals and passing travelers. When you stand behind the counter, you can interact with the customers to start preparing orders. As you encounter more significant characters, information about them will be recorded in your journal. Press J. Alrighty then. Here footsteps. Howdy, cowboy. Oh, well, you've done a fine job setting up Butterfingers. Well, thank you. But this is Blueberry Saloon, not Butterfingers. I must say, the rat droppings on the threshold caught my eye. Did you come up with this decor yourself? It's my business what happens to this place. Yeah. We Tell both him. know that ain't true. Have you forgotten the agreement you made with Mr. Locke? Do you know this man? I know he'll be mighty disappointed if we don't handle a sensitive matter right now. Who are you anyway? Yeah. I'll tell you only what you gotta know, Butterfingers. They call me W, and as long as you run the saloon, we're tied together like tumbleweeds in a dust storm, whether you like it or not. I don't like it. The name's Cheyenne, and I don't think I need to listen to you. My name is Cheyenne? 
I know your name. Am I an Indian? And Mr. Locke knows what's going on here. Quit wasting our time and follow me. But a Native American, that is. This is one shady character. But why are you taking me to the Brussels area? Are you gonna do to me what I think you are? You shady bastard. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Got the keys to the whole dang saloon, do you? Get in. I'll keep my pants on. Oh. Jesus. That's. That's a fresh corpse? Fresh. Holy Mother of Moses. They've been lying here for a few hours. Come on, there's nothing to see. Help me clean it up. No fucking way, W. This is murder. Yeah. If we get rid of the body, it'll be merely a mysterious disappearance. Besides, the town doesn't have a sheriff yet. What is this man even doing here? He is lying dead. Stop asking stupid questions and get to work. I saw a rag here somewhere. You know what to do. God dang it. A rag here. Thought you'd be peacefully serving drinks to wealthy oilmen. Not so fast. The rag you acquired will come in handy for wiping away bloodstains. Be it after a bar fight or the interrogation led by W in his private quarter. You can also use it to wipe drink stains from the bar account. All right. What did I get myself into? Press control to crouch. Let's clean the blood. Shouldn't we remove After the body clean first? Up the blood, take the body to Casey. She's the local mortician. What do Another I tell her? Locks associates. I wouldn't call her that. At least not to her face. She just does what she can to stay alive. Like we all do. Grab the body and bring it to the mortician. Picking up a body, you can bring it to the mortician and place it inside a coffin. Casey offers a solution to dispose of inconvenient evidence and will compensate you with a fair payment for each body. She'll pay me for... <laughs> How many bodies will be... <laughs> We trickle up in this game, you know? I think that's gonna be a common thing. I'll be waiting for you at the bar. <laughs> Alrighty then. What hey, Mrs. Surprise. You're one of them after all. I no I'm not. The body in the coffin. There we go. One of whom? What are you talking about? I'm just here to run the saloon. And you ended up carting around dead bodies? Do you know who he was? No clue. No idea. He poured drinks before you. Oh. Wait, you're kidding me. That's the former barkeep. Right? I'm uh -oh. terribly sorry for your loss. Welcome to Blueberry, I'm Casey O'Hara. How shall I inscribe your grave? Hmm. They call me Cheyenne. Can you tell me how not to end up like this? Do what W tells you. Don't ask questions. And don't look for answers. Alright, did that. Can I buy a pre-need plan or... Just stick a $5 bill in your boot and don't worry about it. I'll make sure you get a proper send-off. <laughs> okay. Thanks. That's surprisingly comforting. Yeah. At your service. Thank you. Turn to W waiting in the saloon. He would be at the bar, he said. Hey pal. Done. Let's wait for the final act with applause. I'll fill you in on your second job when the time comes. Second job? Yeah, second job? Relax, I'm a barkeep here, man. You'll hear a whistle and see me at the window on the balcony. That's the signal for you to head to the barn. Understood? And you will uh, scratch me behind my ear after a good done job? I'm not a dog, but I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? Nope. You don't. Huh, you're a smart ass, you know. There's a chance you'll live a little longer. Longer than the previous owner? 
Huh? Hmm. So Casey spilled the beans, huh? She sure did. He made some bad choices, but I thought, no, enough of that. Get to work. Show me what you can do. Give me a good old stone fence. Now. Stone Are fence? Are you talking about a drink? Or do you need a stable? <laughs> drink. So. How'll it be, partner? Let's, let's pour this man a drink. Is this us? When you stand behind the counter, you can start preparing orders. Some characters have their favorite drinks. Give them one of them and watch the result. You may gain their appreciation and even receive a special gift. It's also possible to distract someone and avoid trouble by offering them their favorite drink. You can check this information in journal. Short press tab and select journal and select characters. Okay. Journal. Characters. So his favorite is a stone fence. She doesn't have a favorite. Make drink. This is your barman assist panel. From here you can serve your guests any kind of a drink they may imagine. Now it's time to check how it works. Check what drink the customer has ordered. The information is displayed at the top of the screen and in the bottom left corner in the form of a list which will guide you through the proper steps. Later on in the game, if anything goes wrong, you can restart the whole process. Just remember, used ingredients will go to waste. Select the appropriate type of glass from the circular menu by left clicking and drag it to the table. Then press next step, next step or shortcut D. If the glass is empty, you can swap it without any consequence. So how do we know what is the proper glass? I don't know. Next step. Select the appropriate alcohol from the circular menu. On the bottle and drag it over to the glass. The bottle, when moved to the left, will slowly begin to pour the liquid. The harder you tilt the bottle to the left or raise it higher, the faster the alcohol will pour. Uh, two ounces or OC, whatever that is. That's a lot of whiskey. Just a little squeeze more. There we go. Select the appropriate alcohol for circular menu. Yeah, same process. Whiskey and cider, okay, that's a thing. And we need one OC of this. Is that ounce? I'm not sure. Put ice cubes. If necessary, add any additives to the drink. During your stay in Blueberry, you'll find an abundance of different alcohols and additives. Right now, just go to the last touches section. Finish the drink by adding last touches. Here you'll need some ice. Drag and drop into the glass. Now mix the ingredients. Drag the spoon over the glass. Hold left must start stirring until the bar under the glass is full. This is pretty awesome, you know? Pretty cool little mini game. It's the best drink you'll ever have. That's what I fucking needed. What's if I'm your going language? to make more of these, I'm going to need supplies. Don't worry about that. I know a supplier goes by the name of Jack. I've already let him know that he should start coming to Blueberry again. He will be here soon. Appreciated. No problem, partner. I sure hope no one else has to make stone fences for me. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. Pleasure to meet the new owner of the once famous Blueberry Saloon. It will be famous again. Let's make Blueberry Saloon great again. Oh, we have an ice box. What are these? Opening the saloon. 
The saloon can be either open or closed by using the information board located in front of the main entrance. Closing the saloon may be necessary at times to fulfill tasks within a specified time frame or to restore your supplies. What are these? Money! Oh, do we have more money lying around? We do. Take all the money we can find. I have no clue what that was. But okay. Let's open the saloon. Great looking saloon this is. More money laying around. <laughs> Get them dollars, silver dollars. Here goes nothing. Now we're open. Serve the guests and wait for the Trader Jack. Oh. Remember to spit in these spit buckets. Don't spit on the floor. Welcome to the Blueberry Saloon. Hey, our first real customer. What do you need, sir? Good day. A stone fence. I know how to make a stone fence. Two ounces of whiskey. Maybe this is the only thing we have right now. Some cider. Whoa! Too much cider. Let's water it down. We should, we should water it down. Eh? <laughs> Here you go, good sir. Finish drink. You want a stone fence as well? This drink okay. is like a wild ride through flavor country. I'll take that as a compliment, sir. Oh, did he leave tips? I think he left tips. Stir it up. Damn, the liquor is running out. Where's this trader? Yeah, Trader Jack. A whiskey My straight. Golly. This drink okay. is the bee's knees. Three ounces. Yep. Just a straight off whisker, please. Do we have to stir it? I don't think so, right? It's just a straight whiskey. <laughs> Sounds like a traveling cart. It's better be the trader. Hopefully. This drink is finer than a cool breeze. Do not want to spend money. Okay. okay let's see on the back. Hey, Trader Jack. Guess no. See in the front. Approach the supplier's cart. Oh, here he is. Talk to the trader Jack. The saloon needs supplies. Jack will be at your service from dawn to sunset. Interact with him and select the appropriate goods from his store. Jack's assortment will be the restock every day. What do we? Want to buy from me? Scusi, you must be Cheyenne. In the flesh. And you must be Jack, the supplier. Supplier? Mio, Mio amici. amici. I'm your compagno on this nasty sea of sand. Giacomo <laughs> Allegretti. But the locals call me Jack. All right, Giacomo Jack. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm going to need your help. I can smell a good deal from a mile away. And I smell it here. We'll make a deal, Cheyenne. Just tell me what you need. A whole lot of whiskey. Can you get me some alcohol and supplies? I need to get this business rolling. 
Stay calm, Amico. Just show me the dollars and I'll deliver what's needed. In Jack's assortment you'll find everything you'll need for cooking and pouring drinks. Talk to Jack and order two bottles of whiskey and one bottle of cider. Okay. Two bottles of whiskey and one bottle of cider. There was two. An order. Yeah, sure. Echo. We have money for more, so Thanks. why not Will you come order in for a drink? more? I'd love to, but not now. I have to take care of the cart. Then see you around. See you. Pick up box. Pick up a crate from the back of Jack's cart. Then walk with it to the place marked on the bar and unpack the goods in the marked area. The crate turns into trash after unloading the last of the goods. Each product has its designated place on the bar. Alrighty then. Let's take this inside. This is for the cider. Alrighty then. Talk to the loud guest. Let's put this in here for now. Yeah, why not? <laughs> The bar is open again. Damn, I might just cry. Hey, help you, good sir. Hello, barkeep. Come closer, young lad. What can I treat you to? Howdy. Name Samuel. Welcome Howdy. to the land where dreams ain't just dreams. Is that what you say? They call me Cheyenne. And for me, the town looks deserted. Just looks, my friend. Just looks. Blueberry's got its secrets, I can tell. You're sharp. You must sense it, too. Can't say I do. What's your trade, Sam? The only real job there is, with all due respect. I'm a gold prospector, and I own the local open pit mine. Gold? In Blueberry? Awesome. Come Where by my it? house and give me a hand with the mining. Got a special contraption, just needs a little bit of fixing. We split what we find equally and fairly. You'll get a solid 20%. What do you think? Doesn't sound entirely fair. We can work out I the details later. Don't let it bother you. Now, listen. Could you make me something to eat? I'm starving. I, do I, I, think I don't so. know. Do we have any food in here? One thing, though. Yes. Till my contraptions churn in can't pay in cash. What can you offer, then? If you make a meal just the way I like it, I'll have a special gift for you in the future. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Hmm. Okay. Worth a shot. Maybe we do have some old food in the back. Grab the pot from the wall and place it on the stove. Start cooking, support it, make dishes according to the recipe in the cookbook. Otherwise, you'll get a slush. Uh, okay. Let's this get room cooking. sure needs a renovation. Let's get cooking. Good looking. If you want to cook something for your guests, you need to get an appropriate recipe for your dish first. Look for it in your cookbook. But what did he want? Biscuit and gravy. What? That sounds nasty. You can see all your collected recipes here. Choose one that you like to make and click track recipe. Button to start following the recipe in your checklist. <coughs> Add two pieces of organ meats. Uh, okay. I don't know. I do not want to know what kind of organ this is. Add butter. Add three hard tacks. What are hard tacks? I don't know. Well, we'll put three of them in here. Next step. This meal does not need any spices. Just remember that to use spices, drag the container from the circular wheel above the pot. Okay. 
get the widget on the left. Your meal is almost ready. Now you need to apply heat to your dish. Maximize the flame by clicking spacebar while the cursor is over the green flame tile. Be careful, clicking space over the red flame will hinder your heat and can even spoil your dish. There are a few special tiles that can make your dish better in many ways. You can discover them in your cookbook. Okay. Ah, I see. succeed biscuit and gravy cooking time 23 seconds blah, blah, blah. oh it's 10 portions okay. special effect peacefulness is customer less aggressive <laughs> all right then move the pot from the stove and place it on the serving table right over here grab a plate and fill it with the finished dish. Turn to the customer with the dish and give him his order. Here's your gravy and biscuits. Or biscuits and gravy, that is. Thanks, you won't regret this. Then to a few customers. Don't mind if I do. Howdy, cowboy. Okay. What do you want? Well, I can't talk to him. Uh, why can't I talk to them? Hello? Let's do these guys first. What's going on here? This guy I could talk to. Okay, he wants a whiskey on the rock. Three ounces of whiskey, that is. a little faster and some rocks I don't think we have to mix it right what do you want whiskey straight my taste buds are doing a happy dance happy to hear that Finish the drink. Let's try these guys again. They were in here first. Oh. Cheers to the bartender. I can't talk to these guys. Do I just serve them food? Maybe. Without talking to them first. Glad I brought my own spoon. I guess so. He got impatient and left. <laughs> you want, uh, want more drinks? A whiskey straight. Coming up. Here you go, good sir. What you want? Occasionally your customers will pick fights with each other. This depends on the mood in the saloon. Sometimes on the degree of drunkenness and sometimes on simple accident. First assess 
which of the combatants is the aggressor and which is the attack. Grab any object and throw it at the aggressor. Oh yes! By doing so, you will stop him from causing further damage. <laughs> awesome stuff. This drink is so damn good it could bring a smile to a grizzly bear. What's You're gonna fight? Cool. Hey, Bet stop you it. can't even run no more. Take it outside. Are okay, we throw at it. Hey, a chair? Me run up and kick your ass. <laughs> Thanks, but no punches for me. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Did we do it? Did we do it right? Unconscious. Oh no, is he dead? Can't leave him here like this. Hope someone in town can help. Good day. The Good fuck day. is that? Hey, you. Hey, doc. Do you know a doctor? Well, of course I know him. He's me. Oh, great. Will he survive? What happened to him? Got hit in the head. He looks fine to me, but the fact he is unconscious can be worrying. Uh... Damn. So what do we do now? Uh... Is he your friend? Will you take care of him? Uh, you'll take care uh, of him. You're the doctor. Him drink. Hmm. All right, then pick him up and follow me. You can pick him up. Oh, we are blood stained as well. Gotta clean that up. Okay, so here's the doctor's office. Do we just throw him in this tub? I am here. <laughs> in the tub? Okay. <laughs> If you find someone injured, bring them to me. I'll patch them up and get them back on their feet. I can't pay you, but the town will be grateful. And so will the people we save. I'll do my best, Doc. Alrighty then. See you around, Cheyenne. Turn to the saloon and your customers. Once you retrieved an injured person, could bring him. Yeah, we just learned that. Turn to the saloon and your customers. Don't mind if I do. Let's hope it's peaceful for the rest of today. Let's clean this up. Do we still have the rack? We do. Okay. All nice and tidy. More customers coming in. Hello, Seward Driscoll. You want a whiskey on the rock? Ah, I have to clean. To ah, I see. That's why I can't. I need to clean this first. Alrighty then. Can I serve you now? I can. Use bar glass. Whiskey and ice cubes. Oh, don't give them too much. We know what happens when they get too much. You know? What do you want? A whiskey on the rock. All right, coming up. Some rocks. Here you go, good sir. I need to clean this before I can serve this guy. Downright legendary. Thank you. He wants a stone fence. I did. Coming up. Two ounces of whiskey and one ounce of cider. Hey, who's breaking glasses here? Be nice. Get some ice cubes. And stir it up. Or was it just that them leaving money? What has this madman come up with this time? 
go meet W at the barn. But I have I have customers here, man. Where's the barn then? Over this way. God knows what he's up to now. What do you want? How's business going, Cheyenne? I heard from Jack that supplies are flowing. Can't complain. But what's on your mind this time? Same as always. I want to help you with your business. See uh -huh. that wagon over there? And the dead body. Do I even want to know? Oh, is there a dead body? Trust me, you do. Here's a crowbar. Time to get to work. I use this barn to dismantle stolen carts. You can make a good profit from it. Just be careful and clean up any traces thoroughly. That's where you come in. Uh-huh. How exactly? It's simple. I'll keep watch while you dismantle the wagon and hide the parts in the hay. If you happen to come across a chest, try to open it. If there's a body on, we've got that covered too. Uh, okay. Uh, Casey and her irreplaceable services. Exactly. Disassemble the cart. This <laughs> must hide it as soon as possible. Yeah, I'll break it up first. it up and hide it in the hay. I have more bits and pieces. This game looks pretty awesome, you know? It will be great once it comes out. You know. I think we'll play the full full game when that time comes. Where's that last wheel? Where's the last wheel? That I have to hide. Or the last part. Uh, am I blind? The cart is all broken up. You know? oh, maybe we need to take this out as well first. We have to have to break all these small pieces as well. Is this piece of the cart? No? I have broken the cart, good sir. There are no more large parts. It's all broken, man. Right? You guys see it? I sure as hell don't. Say what? Uh, I have done it, so now what? There's one more part, but, but where the hell is it? 
see if I can pick something up here. Doesn't look like it, right? have to break all this oh, that's that's just sunlight <laughs> okay. it's just a rock or something oh no I guess we found a glitch Auto save. When was this? I don't know. Let's check it out. I think we have to do it again. Come out. This place is not what I imagined. Starting oh, a business here is going to be a challenge. This is from the beginning. So I guess that will be the first look of this game. If you want me to play this when it comes out, tell me in the comments down below and click the like button to let me know and subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you want me to continue this playtest, Tell me that as well in the comments. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.